Hi people, Rock Farmer here. Today I've decided to go into the R&D lab and mess around with uh, spawning. Because I am tired of approaching my own base only to find out that the game has spawned a new tech right in the middle of the base. Uh, so I want to find out how to prevent that. Now, the only way, the only assumption I'm making is that techs spawn the same way whether you are buying them from the payload station or whether the game decides to spawn an enemy tech at a current location. Uh, at the end of the video, I'll show a way you can set up some techs to basically block off a quite a large area from, from spawn. And uh, I have yet to test this in the game, but I will let you know how it actually works at that time. All of this I'm talking now is recorded later, but we go back to regular recording now. You can see what kind of happened here. First thing it did was it spawned this first layer, circled around, then it spawned a second layer around, and then it's has, ooh, sorry, gotta fly and talk at the same time here, and then it did a third layer around. It always started in the very north position, because this is north facing this way up here, and altogether this adds up to 29 spawn attempts. So my guess is that they're trying to spawn and tech less than 30 times. And if it doesn't work, it just gives up. So this was the small template. So let's try it again now with, uh, with the bigger template and see what happens. Again, we're back in post-production here. Just in case you're confused, uh, I created three templates of text that I could buy to to spawn in here just to see how the game would act. So when I'm talking about the templates, I'm talking about those three ones. And one more. Um, after this one, the next one should fail. So we get this one and then I go again. And I don't think we will get any. So what is interesting to note here is this, it's, it's exactly the same pattern. So now we know if we have the center point, the spawning point from the algorithm, which is the payload terminal, now we can try to change the shape of our tech to see how that affects things. What you'll see now when it lands is it lands right there but the anchor point is over there. So the center of the tech is in here from the spawning algorithm in the game, but the anchor point is somewhere else. Now let's get this tech out of the way. And where are our spawners? They are probably in the bottom here. So let's do the small one again. Now we know from before, the first one is gonna land here, then the next one's gonna land there. But because we have this tech here, this is going to occupy all this space around. So the first tech actually lands all the way back there. Well, that was it. So this was the third layer out. So we blocked all the two inner circles with this tech here. So let's take the 21 by 21 that we did over there and see where the first tech starts landing with this one. It lands there, and let's put the next tech, I think this is the second layer out. If it lands here, it's the first layer. It doesn't, so this is the second layer out. So this will continue, maybe we'll put one more here. Unless it's blocked, it is blocked. So it can't spawn there, but then it spawns up there and now it continues on that third layer around. So now we get an idea if we block all of those spawns here, like because it's obvious now that it doesn't block a square within this tech here. So it's something to do with the center of the tech and how far away you are. And that was probably the last one we could get here because it 
fulfill the entire spawning circle and we get nothing else. Now I did build myself another one that was even larger again, which has three layers and I actually don't know if this is going to spawn in, but let's find out if this spawns on the outside here. Anywhere, I think it should at least have some space here, yeah. So that's the first spawn we get. Now the next spawn we get is there. So this is the end of the second layer, it looks like. So now we'll see if it can actually start the third line out here, or the third circle. It can. Okay. And what you do see as well is that they land in line with your payload station. So if I move my station out to one end and call it an attack, it will try to place it up there to begin with. Uh, so we know that this is going to fit all the way around on the outside. So let's just try this. Move the payload terminal all the way out here. And we try to call this tech here in. And hopefully something should land in this general vicinity. There you go. So that's something that you need to, to keep in mind here. If you're doing this, you can, because obviously when I look at this, it's like, okay, I can build really cool geometrical shapes now. I can design a base that does this. So this is uh, this is really cool in that sense. What is also interesting is if you do this, you see we don't have any spawns here and we don't have any spawns here either. And it's so here I go interrupting myself. Um, I didn't like the audio in the last segments here, so I decided to just record this afterwards. You can see the idea here. You have four of these techs and they're like with their backs to each other, hopefully to prevent spawning in a very, very large area. I tested it, as you can see here, and it didn't really work and they are a little too far apart. So either you can move these closer or you can build a separate tech in the middle there. Um, that could work too. And that would be like, if you want to have your battery tower in there, your mega battery or whatever, you can do that. Also in these, like in the crossroads, there are some spawning spaces left as well. So, uh, uh, I'm sure that you can either, you can move these closer together or you can build a separate tech that covers those. Anyway, I hope you found this useful. Uh, I am looking forward to not having Texas spawn in the middle of my base when I'm returning from a harvesting mission. Please leave a like if you liked it. Uh, leave a comment if you think I'm wrong or right. And if any of the devs are watching, because I'm posting this on the forum as well, please let me know if I'm, if I'm close or just let us know how it works, because it would be very helpful. Um, this has been Rock Farmer. I hope you have a nice day. Bye.